What's your name? My name is Hia. My name is Eric, and I'm in grade 11. My name is Ali. <laughs> <laughs> What did director do? I'm learning that. <laughs> what does the director do? So I think uh, we need to recognize that there are some really important things that are happening in our system. Number one, we all are focusing on student learning, student achievement, and student well-being. But while students are centered in schools, there's a lot of actual, a lot of um, other work that happens outside of schools that support the work that goes on. So we have a service side and we have a learning side and the director works with a whole bunch of different people, including people in the community, uh, to make sure that students have the best possible experience. What are some opportunities available to the folks with disabilities? I love that question. I think the most important thing is that when we are planning in our schools, we are thinking about those who may have the greatest challenges, and we are planning with them in mind, because when we do that, everyone is able to rise. And I think we can't take for granted what disabilities people may have, because they're not all visible. So I think answering this question would take me a really long time, because it depends on what the needs are. So I think the most important thing is that our schools be places that are inclusive, that are welcoming, and that serve and support everyone. And once you get to know students and know what their abilities are, you can focus on how to best support them and offer them opportunities that are tailored for them. How would your previous colleagues best describe you? I think real, down to earth, a hard worker, someone who has high expectations first of herself and then others, and someone who supports good people and supports the work. And I would say, I truly, truly believe this. I believe so strongly in public education. And I believe in public education really as an opportunity for us to create change for the better. Um, oh, I am on a soapbox, aren't I? I'm literally on a soapbox. But um, I think my colleagues would say that I'm hardworking, authentic, and um, really, work, uh, really work to develop strong relationships with others so that we can work together. Yes. What is your favorite food? And my name is Mohammed. Um, I, I would have to say all things Jamaican. I was born in Jamaica. Jerk, oxtail, rice and peas, and our national dish in Jamaica, aki and saltfish. Which, if you haven't had it, we need to talk. Okay. <laughs> what motivates you to improve schools in Hamilton? It's always about making sure that students have great experiences, making sure that students' needs are met. And I think part of what motivates me is my own personal experience. School really meant a lot to me. School provided a lot to me. And uh, I want us to do the best that we can to meet the variety of needs of the very diverse student population that we serve. Thank you. How many? Pens have you lost? I lost two. I cannot believe this question. It's like you're looking into my house because there's actually a story. I have a story for this. The answer is no less than 112. And the reason I know this is because I did keep losing pens. I, would, I have a thing about pens, so if you're around me, watch, hold your pen, because um, they just disappear. And I have a lot of pens, and my pens were disappearing. And then one day, um, I needed a pen, and my daughter loaned me the pen that was engraved with my name. That was a very special gift. And I said, um, where did you find that? And she presented a box 
of pens that she had been just collecting that I was leaving here and there. So, um, yes, I have a thing for pens, and I've lost many, many, yes. <laughs> what advice would you give to new teachers and students coming in September? So I think, because I think I would give the same advice to teachers, new teachers, as I do uh, to new administrators. Uh, which is, at the end of the day, the most important thing that you can do is build really strong relationships. So as a classroom teacher, really get to know who your students are. And, you know, that is the most important thing you can do to get off to a great start. Because once you know who your students are, you'll know how to best meet their needs. And it's a relationship, so it means that they come and bring a lot and uh, it's not just about us teaching them. They have, we have much to learn from our students as well. And thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, and to the second part of the question, it was new teachers and new students. And to new students, I would say HWDSB is the place where you can show up your full authentic self and you will be included, respected, and uh, supported. So that's what we'd want for all of our students. Thank you.